Well, good morning, folks. Pastor Rock, you hope you're doing great today. You know, one of the things that's valuable for us to consider is that the Word of God does not change. Now, I do realize and understand that in our world today, a lot of things have changed. People have changed their ideals. They have changed their habits. They've changed their directions. They've changed their all kinds of stuff. I mean, anything you can name, anything you can put out there, people have changed. Um, it's troubling uh, when you come from a a situation that you understand what the scriptures say and and then also understand why the scriptures say what they say god has given us a plan he's given us a direction he's given us a desire uh by a relationship with him to then see the difference that the word of god makes in our lives now, all of us have good ideas. I mean, everybody at some point, somewhere down the line, has had a good idea, maybe two or three, actually, and that's okay. But that still doesn't give me the right to change the Word of God. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of truth. Now, when I understand this verse, I understand that what it is saying to me is that I have to put time in. If I do not put time in, I will not know the Bible. It's just, it's just a fact. It's just not going to happen. Most people try to live life by their wits, how they have lived, how they succeed, what their business has been, how they've made achievements here, achievements there, whatever. They've tried to live their lives that way. And because of that, they have considered that I've done all these things this way, this good, so I'm okay. And so I can make my own decisions the right way. That's the wrong answer according to the Bible. Now, it might be right according to your friends or even yourself. But according to the Bible, it's the wrong way. I have to study to show myself approved unto God. Approved as what? A workman. Now, if you had someone that built a house, for example or they build a magnificent bookcase or a some sort of structure somewhere, and you were to come in, and you had the blueprints, and you said, okay, so I can't wait to see what's happened here. Here's the blueprints. I can't wait to see what we've done. And you walk in, and you look, and you say, well, let's see. Hang on a second. Um, well, now, that wall is there, but it's not built the way the blueprints say. And the guy says, well, yeah, but it's, it's a wall, and it's there. It's okay. And you say, this this over here, that the way this is built, that's not on the blueprints. Yeah, but it's okay. It, it, it's up. It's all right. And you say, no, because I got blueprints. And my blueprints tell me that it's supposed to be this way over here and this way over here. Just because we have a an ability or a desire to do certain things does not mean that we don't have a blueprint to go by. And the blueprint for us is the Bible. God gives us his word. We are to study to show ourselves approved unto God, workmen, that when God looks at our work, he doesn't say, uh, well, you did that work, but that's not what I said do. That's not the way I said do it. The blueprint was not followed. And the interesting part about this particular thing is that people say, and, and they want to say this because they actually care. It's not that they, it's, it's not that people don't care because people do care, but they will say, yeah, well, you know, I, I mean, it may not be exactly right, but it's okay. L let me tell you something. It's not okay. It's got to be God's way. Study to show thyself approved unto God that when he comes to inspect the work, a workman that's not ashamed. That when he looks at what you have done, you are not ashamed of what you have done because you followed the blueprint. The blueprint is right. In our situation, we must realize that we cannot take personal experiences and change the blueprint. It's God's way. Now, the Spirit of God bears witness with us. That's what the Bible tells us. And that Spirit of God helps us, according to this verse, 2 Timothy 2.15, to rightly divide the word of truth. 
So I have to then have the understanding of the Holy Spirit to rightly divide the word of truth. Because that's what the Holy Spirit is. He is truth. So I need to discern. I need to divide. I need to understand. And I have to do that by the blueprint of the word of God, by the way and by the help of the Holy Spirit. Now, the reason that many times we fail to follow the blueprints is because of something going on in our lives that we don't want to address or deal with. It's easier just to go along, get along, and not try to rock the boat, and everything's great. Let me tell you something. Everything is not great. The Word of God does not change. The Word of God will not change, not for you, not for me, not for anybody else. If the Word of God could have changed, the Word of God would have changed, when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. If God's Word could have been changed, and God's Word would be able to be altered, in the Garden of Gethsemane, it would have been changed. Because God's only Son said to him, is there any other way we can do this? Not that we can't do it. We can build it. As long as I get it up, is it okay? No, no. Is there any other way we can do it? No. Why? we got to follow the blueprint. And in order to bring lost souls back to me, you've got to die. And Jesus said, not my will, not my blueprint, not my work design, but yours be done. And until we cross that bridge and burn it behind us and understand that it's not us, but it's God that counts, and his word will miss every time reading the correct blueprint. Honor God, and he will honor you. And if you do that, God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you.